Now we're going to explore the relationship between unemployment and GDP using something that we call Occam's Law. So this is something that is useful for a variety of purposes and to show how it can be used we'll step through a numerical example. So Occam's Law is given by this equation here. Now I've said that we're going to look at the relationship between unemployment and GDP. Specifically we'll be looking at it through the relationship between cyclical unemployment and the output gap. So let's just break this equation down into these components. On the left hand side we've got the output gap. More specifically you might say the numerator here is the actual output gap. And then we divide by potential GDP just so that we have the gap as a fraction of potential GDP. Then on the right hand side we've got cyclical unemployment so this is just the difference between actual unemployment and the natural rate of unemployment, which is composed of frictional unemployment and structural unemployment. And then the last component we've got is this beta here, which is the Ockham coefficient. Quite simply, what this boils down to is that the output gap as a fraction of potential GDP is inversely proportional to cyclical unemployment. So see, we've got that negative sign in there. If cyclical unemployment goes up, the output gap goes down. And if cyclical unemployment goes down, the output gap goes up, which makes logical sense. If there are more people working, you will get more production. 